ICON's always a great event to really try to stay on the cutting edge of how people are thinking about supply chains and logistics and all of the, the elements that are so critical in retail today from getting goods to the actual end user. And ICON, I feel like, always gives a lot of great content that for people to think about uh, in their business as they leave the event. I would say partnerships like this are vital because we, we have the opportunity to collaborate and really share a lot of good information from, that we're hearing from our clients and then come together and figure out ways to innovate to bring thought leadership to them. What I'm seeing with Blue Yonder and Microsoft is we have some unique opportunities to leverage Microsoft platforms uh, as well as Blue Yonder IP and, and platforms that they're putting together to really bring together end-to-end -to -end, uh, scenarios for clients that are vital to their business. So the first thing you know that's really critical in how Microsoft and Blue Yonder work together is that Microsoft you know, we can provide a very secure and stable platform. So you know security is a very big priority for us, and so then we can partner with Blue Yonder to you know use Blue Yonder products on that secure and stable platform. And so what we can do also is in order to ready customers to use you know Blue Yonder products, we can also help them again get that underlay in place of you know, a good data estate and really just ready them for what they're going to need. Blue Yonder actually deploys all of our applications on the Microsoft Azure platform exclusively. And I think that that's where the true partnership comes into play is we're really making this work across all of our different customers collectively. The benefit of connecting planning with execution, it's really bringing together organizations that really never really spoke to each other before. And I think that the technology is really there to provide planning and execution to really orchestrate with each other. Um, so that way they're not stepping on each other's toes. You know, I'm really excited about the three-way partnership that we've been able to pull together over the last several years. Uh, what's exciting to me as a product development guy is not only do I get the benefit of all the great technology that my team builds, but I really, in essence, I get to build on the amazing technology that thousands of engineers across uh, Snowflake and Microsoft are building every day. And then I get to interact with those engineers sometimes to even drive new innovations uh, into those platforms. I love that you share it that way, that it's really like you're kind of standing on the shoulders of all of these right. other kind of, you know, innovative engineers and platforms. We often tell our customers that as well, that, you know, Microsoft has the luxury of investing thousands of engineers to help build something. And so we love to partner with our customers to bring that innovation to them. So seeing it then be uh, leveraged by our partners too, I think is great and how the three uh, platforms can really come together to solve customer problems. Uh, we kind of feel like we need it these days. You know, right. it's like the world of retail and CG in particular has gotten so complicated. Yes. What our customers tell us is they need that like hyperscaler kind of connectivity and they need specialized data capabilities and they need specialized application capabilities. So it really does take kind of the three to bring it all together. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think the, the great thing is the way we've approached this particular partnership, right? We're, we're building out this ecosystem, which is going to not only benefit the three partners, but the entire industry. And, and I think there is something really exciting about that paradigm versus having closed solutions of the past, right? So it's really going to change the way supply chain operates. You're going to see a lot more collaboration across the ecosystem and that, that's the exciting part for us. I'm really excited to see how generative AI is making an impact on supply chain. You know, supply chain's always been a really data rich function. And now people are using generative AI both to make sense of that data, but also capture new data. I have retail and consumer good clients that right now are using cameras in their stores and in their manufacturing facilities to capture how associates and customers are interacting with the environment gather insights from that and start making real meaningful business decisions based on those insights. For example, I have some retailers that are moving products within the shelf and changing prices based on how information is being gathered, collected and analyzed using generative AI. We have a long-term partnership with Microsoft and Blue Yonder. 
Blue Yonder being the number one in the US in terms of uh, planogram solutions. And we're here with the Captana solution to bring a planogram compliance solution based on computer vision. So the idea is that we bring the view of the shelf and we monitor the application and the capabilities of the planogram compliance. So yesterday we've been talking to many retailers who are actually using planogram solutions, who are trying to merchandise their solutions very well. But what they don't know is it's how well it's executed in the store. And having the best solution in the world is great, but if you don't execute, if you don't apply that to your stores, they don't really know what's happening. So we're providing this loop back to them to tell them, hey, those stores have been applying the solutions very well, those stores have been poorly executing and then being able to provide this visibility to them. So at the show, we just announced that we are uh, delivering AI agents. And we've, we've used, what we've done to do this is that we've based it on something called the Blue Yonder Orchestrator that we announced last ICON. And that was really to provide the framework whereby we would uh, introduce generative AI to the enterprise. So today, uh, what we were doing is sharing that we're building these agents and the agents will bring together the best of generative AI, which is typically things like natural language and content creation with but I'm always calling the super calculator. So it's really bringing in our predictive um, AI and our solvers so that between the two, we take the best of what's are there with the large language models um, with our solvers and predictive AI. So in many ways, we think about it as a layered intelligence. It's a sophisticated AI within AI.